name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Ghost Child, Dr. Bob, Bob Bill for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Coaster Child Review. Now this, my friends, is on uh, Black Pearl at Lightwater Valley. Now this amazing attraction opened at Lightwater Valley in the 2011 season, part of the new Skeleton Cove area. This is the new Pirates area of the park at the time. Uh, and this was actually relocated from a closed park. Now, this was originally manufactured in 1983. And this was originally at Loudoun Castle. However, when that park closed in 2010, the ride was going to be moved, along with a few other rides, down to Lightwater Valley to become part of the Skeleton Cove area. Now, this is a looping ship, so it's not like a traditional pirate ship where it swings from left to right like the Blade at uh, Alton Towers. Obviously, the old pirate ship at Lightwater Valley, the Wave, the new one, the Flying Cutlass, or the newer models, we say, the one that it replaced it with. Uh, it's not like those traditional pirate ships. This one is actually a full 360 degree looping ship. Uh, and basically, uh, it swings one way, then it swings the other way, and it will gather up enough speed to actually hang you upside down and then swing back around again. It's got some very clever restraints, lap bar restraints, to keep you grounded while you're looping 360 degrees. So, when I first did this, obviously, uh, the, fir the first ever time I went to Lightwater Valley was 2006, 2005, 2006, that kind of mark. I didn't do the Ultimate at the time, but I did do the Rat Ride. And, you know, I, I don't have much, I can't remember much about the Rat Ride. I do know that it's very different now. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, but this is in the days when you still had the Lightwater Wheel, the flying camels uh, you know raptor attack wasn't even there yet uh, you know this was some you know very different times to now um, and obviously like I said the sewer rat was there uh, Apollo wasn't there anymore the world it wasn't there at all the whirlwind wasn't there obviously that's gone now there was no waltzer you had the enterprise black widow's web you know I remember doing that one and that was fantastic um, so very, times were very different. When I went back to the park about 10 years later in 2016, very, very different atmosphere for me because it was like coming back to an old stamping ground. And of course, there were many things that I hadn't yet done. Raptor Attack was broken, so I couldn't do that. I am due a visit back to like Water Valley to get that credit in. Uh, I didn't do the Twister because the queue was uh, too long and it was towards the end of the day and we needed to get home, so I couldn't exactly do the Twister. Um, but one thing I did do was the rides in Skeleton Cove and one of them was the Black Pearl and I'm not going to lie to you guys it was actually not a bad experience now on the old channel it's deleted now but I did do some like on ride stuff from the Black Pearl and I just remember the reactions I remember <laughs> I tried to do a segment I actually tried to do like a new segment or something like a talking segment on the Black Pearl and I tried to keep my hand as sturdy as possible and it ju and I'm not gonna lie it was so hard to keep it steady so hard to keep because I had a GoPro um, not sure where it is now but it's somewhere around here um, don't know exactly work now <laughs> uh, but when I had it and when it was in prime working condition um, by the way it was one of those new GoPro Hero 6s it was like, like it was like one of the I can't remember what they call it, like Akashi, some, something like that, something like that. Um, it was like it wasn't a GoPro Hero 6 though. It wasn't kind of it, it wasn't one of those models. Uh, but I tried to keep it as sturdy as possible, bearing in mind I had a selfie stick at the time. I didn't have like a, a holder or anything like that, or I didn't have like a strap or anything. It was literally attached to a selfie stick uh, by screw. Um, so I was holding it as much as I can. And my hands were literally shaking, literally shaking, um, as I was going round and round and round. Like, I'm not usually a nauseous person when it comes to these rides, but when I came off that, you know, I felt something coming up. <laughs> Let's just say that. It didn't, I wasn't nauseous, thank God, but it, it, it had that feeling where your stomach feels like a tumble dryer. In terms of the smoothness of the ride, 
Uh, I'm not going to lie, it was a little bumpy at times, especially when you're doing the loops. But overall, I think the light bars were okay. Some people have different opinions, that's absolutely fine. But for me personally, for my build, um, not as much muscle you know, up here as there is down there. But I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Um, but the restraints were quite loose, so it kind of pressed against the stomach. And because the stomach's got a bit built... It sort of it sort of presses really hard, so uh, it did feel a bit bumpy at times. But other times where I felt it felt loose, it wasn't pressed against the stomach. It was more the gut area. It felt more loose because it was further back. So again, I wasn't too I wasn't too fond of the restraints to be honest. But they did do a job of some sort. Um, overall, then for the Black Pearl. I really, I, I, I'm a fan of this ride. I am a fan of this ride. It's not the best flat ride I've done. Obviously, that's the likes of Ripsaw that's got now. Uh, <laughs> but I am going to say it's good. For, it's great for the UK. It's not the best flat ride in the world, but it's great for the UK, and it's great for for Europe as well because you know some of these looping starships. There's hardly any more out there. There's a few out there, but there isn't as much as there used to be in terms of looping starships. So you know. I don't mind that. Obviously, if you don't know, the manufacturer, I believe, was Weber. Uh, W-E-B-E-R, I think that's spelled. Um, so they're a classic manufacturer. They're a real cl a classic manufacturer of attractions. Uh, like I said, this was originally manufactured back in 1983. So it's an old, old ride. Even though it came to the park in 2011, it was an old ride. And it operated at Lavin Castle for a while. So, you know, you, you, you are to expect some roughness with an older ride. Um, how long has it got left at the park? I don't know, to be honest. It depends on the future of Lightwater Valley because uh, hopefully Lightwater Valley gets some new investment in as soon as possible um, and keep the long-term future of the park growing and growing. I'm sure they've got something planned for the park in the future. I'm sure they're going to have something planned. Um, but hopefully Blackpool stays at Lightwater Valley. But if it does go, I want to see it go to a different park and operate you know, a, new, a different park in the UK or abroad, whatever works. Uh, but I want to see this ride keep going for as long as possible. So there we go. So that is this review of Black Pearl at Lightwater Valley. Thank you very much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Child, Kit on the Coast of Life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.